hello guys welcome back to my channel today I would like to show you how to build an AI bubble chatbot uh, with Facebook Messenger that remembers customer information like name phone prefer information and answers consistently and also escalated to human support on using an and, and open AI and super by uh, super by as well so in this super base we use uh, for um, uh, uh, chat history with progress and the data information from Google Sheet. Uh, uh, with this workflow, workflow can, uh, you can like connecting Facebook Messenger to the NNN via a uh, webhook and structuring, storing, and filtering chat data with Supervise uh, using rack uh, information to ensure accurate human like answers with OpenAI and avoiding double replies, remembering user information, and handling booking deposits with strict logic. So let's get started. Okay, here's the first no, uh, first note. Uh, I'm using the webhook node to receive the uh, the uh, the data from Facebook. So this is the normal webhook that you guys can do it. So just go through to the another one. Uh, here's split out. So I just look like um, want to split out some information, like important information. Uh, hold on for a second. I will open for you. Okay, here you can see. Okay, here, yeah. here you can see like uh, I'm I'm going to split out some data value uh, like uh, the ID, time, messaging, send ID, reception ID, timestamp, message, and we do have some uh, two value in the message, and the first one is a uh, message ID, and the, the other one is a text message. Okay, after uh, split out the data. I'm going to split out again with the information. So this is just only normal notes. So you guys uh, know how to do that. So just only go past uh, those notes. After that, I'm going to uh, use the set note. Uh, in this note, I'm. I'm going to extract the, some data information like page ID, sender ID, reception ID, and the message ID, timestamp, and the message as well. Uh, why, why do I need to uh, to the extract some uh, this data? Because like uh, I want to sell the chat history in the supervise with the beta ID and the sender ID. Uh, and after that, uh, the AI agent will uh, retrieve the data from chat history here, as, as you can see. I will show you guys later, uh, but. Uh, uh, I mean like I'm using the set not here uh, to retrieve the exactly that information and this uh, and send to the other web hook so uh, why do I need this workflow uh, just only be like you can stop clock message in this workflow uh, so that's how I can learn from the other KOL in the YouTube as well so uh, okay uh, we are going to the next workflow. Um, in this workflow, in this next step, um, uh, you can like say the user message on the box message to the end and uh, workflow. So if the user send a message to the end and uh, then it send directly to the AI and get the answer and uh, send back to the uh, Facebook. But in case the Facebook send some, uh, I mean multiple message from the box. So it's mean like, we do nothing in this workflow so uh, with this workflow um, I mean like we can stop uh, the chatbot send a message to it and and do nothing it's mean like we don't have any flow message we don't have any message box message to Facebook directly, directly back okay you, so you can say uh, after the first workflow I'm saying I'm just only set the set not wet hook to receive the message from this wet hook as well uh, after I receive the message from the first workflow and then I uh, do again let the uh, structure data I mean the set node to set some structure data okay after that I'm using the if not here uh, I will show you uh, here just wait a minute okay let's see 
uh, in this node we have two brands the first brand is like if the chosen page ID and the sender ID is mean like the page ID and the sender ID is together in my table of the super base if in case we have it is similar to so it stop and then oh sorry here if it's true uh, what does it mean if it's true so the next not is a message ID we get the raw from a message ID from the super by okay here is the thing like uh, when the uh, the message sending from Facebook to the NN so the NN will struck the data from by ID and send ID and then after that the message ID from super by will recognize like the by ID and the send ID is already on the data and then send to the uh, next node in this node we recognize like the other message is already exit it's mean like the bot uh, message is already exit so do nothing so another brain is like if the message is from user and then we go into the next node here so what 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 happened next okay um when the end end we receive the message and recognize like that is the message from user and we using um using the next node is self chat history so in in this channel has a uh, self chat history i'm going to create a table in supervise as well so the other movie i already uh, saw how to create the supervise so in this workflow i'm not going to show you guys how to do it and then um uh, as you can see in the self chat history not i'm going to save the id by id channel id like the same information like the same data really as well okay just going to for the next node uh, this is a recognize user or not so um, when recognize the user the user exit uh, so we go into the the browse progress but before um, show you guys how to do the, the browse progress uh, I just want to let you know about some small information about a no operation do or nothing it's mean like when uh, the NNN receive like I told you before when the NNN uh, receive a message from uh, Facebook and then they recognize it is the boss so it means doing nothing and then the other brain is like if the user send a message and then the NNN recognize this is the message of the user after that mm -hmm. it's sending the message to the, the boss box rest so here in the bow box crash I'm using like uh, 10 seconds to I mean this not going to help you to stop uh, resisting message block message and after we uh, stop for 10 seconds here we are going next with the next not is got get on message so uh, what does it mean it's mean like example uh, the user send a message to your by like hi how are you and do you have any available for today so just you will guys receive three messages from facebook and the facebook fan uh, send the message to nnn so we have three messages for the same time and this not like help you guys to uh, receive three messages at the same time as well okay so after we receive all the message from the user and uh go to the next node is a message as it or what does it mean it's mean like uh, uh like i told you before when the user send the message to the facebook and then the facebook send a message to the nnn when when the nnn receive the message they will recognize which message is depend on the user on the board as well so if the message is uh, the user is mean like going through uh, and they will save the chat history here and uh, before sending the message to the AI agent to get the answer and send back to the Facebook I'm going to create two other um, not and uh, well, what does it not so the first not is time debug how well, what does it mean it's mean like when a user asks you like hi i would like to make an appointment for next tuesday so the editing will recognize like example today is monday and tomorrow is wednesday and today is the fourth of june and then tomorrow tuesday is uh the fifth of june so we time the book to let the NNA know like what is that and uh, what is today as well and after that i got the 
much message it means like we must all message going together and uh, ready to send the uh, question to the AI agent well okay let's go to the next node is AI agent uh, with this node like the AI agent will receive the message from user and first of all the AI agent will get the data information from supervised and um, I'm, I'm I'm going to like create a um, data from supervised from Google Sheet as well so like example we have a question we have the answer for the supervised and then we upload to the supervised table and in this case the AI agent will get all information about the data in the supervised like example like uh, uh, what is your my location what is your trading hour and how many sections how many treatment you have uh, um, like the um, here uh, here in this flow I create for my uh, customer is like they booking for the clinic so just only information about the clinic and then after they receive the message from supervisor they will use the chat memory to create the answer consistency like example uh, the user asks you like, uh, hey, um, do you know when is my next appointment? So on the first of all, the AI agent will get the uh, information from Superbike and they will not, they, they, they don't have the data um, like what is your next appointment. And then after that, they get back to the chat memory. And in this node, uh, the AI agent like they recognize the information of this user asked before uh, so the user before like they sell the chat history and they recognize like okay this user they already have three sections waiting for deposit or waiting for the appointment waiting for create a booking or something like that and then the AI agent will recognize and will send the answer like oh hi uh, welcome back like example welcome back Jonathan um, you still have three appointments uh, waiting for um, a booking so uh, what is that would like to uh, make a booking or something something like that and after that uh, after um, get the answer from supervisor and the chat history from both thread and uh, we'll send a message to we we'll send back a message to Facebook or messenger as well so um, Yeah, that's it. Uh, with this workflow, uh, your Facebook Messenger will reply consistency, avoid mistake, and always feel friendly, professional, ready for real business like you guys can adapt to your business well. So if you found uh, this helpful, please like, comment, share, give, leave any question below. I'm happy to assist you. And thank you for watching.